Guten Tag, everyone. It's no longer bonjour because where am I? In Vienna. But yes, I'm in Vienna for a month and it's time to grind. It's time to grind. I've been in the south of France for the past week and London and boy, did I get absolutely no work done. So it's time to grind now. Welcome to today's video everyone. Today I wanted to talk about how to become a cooler, more interesting person. And these are just things I've noticed from collecting data, meeting lots of people and thinking that majority of people are boring. Whenever I find someone interesting or cool or unique, I make note of it. Let's firstly talk about the differences between an interesting person and an uninteresting person. An uninteresting person, they are not curious about the world. They stay in their little bubble. They don't ask questions. They are not inquisitive, they don't try new things. And more importantly, they're only self-interested. People who are interesting, these are the data collectors. If you don't know what data collecting is, go watch my other videos. I talk about it in the Game of Life video especially. They go out, they try new things, they talk to new people, they're genuinely curious about other people. When you are curious about other people, you learn more from them. That therefore makes you more interesting because you can then relay that information and knowledge to other people. They're passionate, they're creative, they have a strong sense of who they are, they don't try to be somebody they're not. And they're also authentic. People who are not interesting are not authentic and we're going to get into this. Here are 17 ways. Fuck off. My pound of sugar is on the ground. Yeah, I'm sitting pretty, but I'll leave you scarred. wind keeps blowing my kind of chocolate light. Number one, get a hobby that you are passionate about or get a passion. When people are passionate about something, you are knowledgeable more so than the average, especially if it's your passion. Whenever somebody's talking about something they're passionate about, that is when I think they are the most attractive. And I also find them to be incredibly interesting. A lot of people, they go through life with no hobbies, with no passion, no interests. What are you passionate about? You want to be able to go into any setting for there to be at least one thing that you know more about than everybody else. Find a passion. Number two, travel more. Obviously, if you don't have the funds for it, save up or just focus on becoming more cultured. You don't actually have to travel for this. You can go try new dishes, get more multicultural friends, try to have different experiences, even within your town, go to different cultural events watch different shows in different languages, listen to different music. I find the most boring people to be the ones who are not only not well traveled, but they only stick to listening to music or watching films in their own language, eating their own country's food. They really don't want to go out and explore new cultures. And I think that makes someone very, very boring. Of course, money is a major restriction. Like I said, you don't need to go and travel. Just try new things. Babe, watch a K-drama. I find the people who surprise me most and I find the most interesting. But it's like the most macho man who's listening to Drake and then he's also like, oh, but I love watching K-drama. I'm like, but I find it so interesting because number three, it's unexpected and unpredictable. People who are interesting and cool are unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do next. People who are predictable, boring. I can predict you. I can predict what you're gonna do. Boring. Focus on becoming more well-rounded as an individual. So that means just learning a little bit about everything. You want to be able to talk to people about most things. And this can go back to one of my earlier points where I said, don't just focus on things you know, the food you know, the music you know, the people you know. Go out and do more. The more you do, the more you learn, the more data you collect, the more well-rounded as an individual you're going to be. Be yourself. People's little idiosyncrasies are what makes them who they are. If you watched my previous video on appearances, I talked about how I think people who are too perfect looking like they've gotten a lot of surgery or they just look a bit too perfect, I don't find them as attractive as people who are flawed because little idiosyncrasies are what make you who you are. You got like a little gap in your tooth. You got a monobrow, I don't know. Little things can make somebody more attractive. And I don't actually agree with this in photos. In photos, I think perfect people look better. They photograph better. But in real life, it's the idiosyncrasies which make someone attractive. I love to see someone that's unapologetically themselves. They're not trying to be somebody they're not. You can always tell when somebody 
is not comfortable in their own skin when they're just copying something from TikTok, they're trying to be somebody else. It's unattractive and it's not cool and it won't make you interesting and people will be able to pick up on it. Next point, get therapy. Of course, you guys knew this point was coming. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. But why get therapy? Simply becoming a healed individual, not even healed, because you know, there's all this talk online, oh, we have to heal ourselves before we can date, da da da. No, not even about healing yourself. It's about becoming self aware. If you have self awareness, you have power. I know every fucking wrong thing about me, I know everything that grows up in my brain, nothing can escape me. Even when I talk to a therapist, I will point it out before she does. If she points it out, I'm like, I know, I'm aware of this. And when you have self-awareness, you have power over everything that is wrong with you. Everything that you can improve on, you already know, and you can work on that. And, and that makes you a better individual. It makes you better than most because most people would rather not have self-awareness. And this is why you should use BetterHelp because BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service. And if you can't afford it, they actually have financial aid available. It's really simple to use. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire and BetterHelp will match you with the perfect therapist for you. Then you can schedule a video call, a call, you can message them or phone call them, whatever you want. And the selling point for me is that you can message your therapist whenever you want throughout the week because sometimes you can't wait for your weekly sessions. Now, if you don't like your therapist, because therapy is like dating, I stress this all the time, you can change your therapist free of charge. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed therapists who can help you with whatever issue you have. With BetterHelp, you guarantee the same professionalism and quality that you can expect from an in-person therapist, but with more flexibility and more affordability. And with a therapist that is custom picked for you. So to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, go to my link right here. Don't get offended easily. I think the most uncool, uninteresting people the wind is really howling today. Don't get offended easily. And what do I mean by this? People who get offended easily cannot take a joke. They're boring to be around. Nobody wants to be around them. You have to like tread around them. You don't know what you're gonna say. Is it gonna offend them? Do I have to cry them a river? Do I have to apologize after saying this one thing? You also need to realize not everyone is out to get you. And if someone does say something that is malicious towards you, they're just projecting. It has nothing to do with you, so just brush it off. Become a good listener. Sometimes you need to shut up and listen to what other people have to say. And if you listen to other people and you're genuinely interested in them, they will also like you more. And also guys, if you're on my channel, you know we're all about collecting data. And if we listen and shut up and ask the right questions, we're gonna collect some good data. And that kind of went into my next point. <laughs> Ask good questions, collect data. Now you can only do this if you are actually interested in people, because if you're not, you're gonna be like, well, some more and more questions do I ask? But if you're genuinely interested, it's going to come to you naturally. Personally, every single person I meet, I am so interested in them. Even if you think you're a boring person, I'm going to be interested because everyone has a different story, a different background. They have something they can share with you. And I think that is wonderful, which is why I love, love, love meeting new people. That goes into the next point, meet as many people as possible. The more people you meet, the more you get out of your comfort zone, the more connections you make, the more data you collect, the more stories you then have to tell. And what makes someone also interesting? The life they live. How interesting is the life they lived? How many stories can they relate? You have to be a good storyteller as well. Next point, when you meet more people, you're also going to be able to understand social situations and social cues better. Now this goes beyond like autism, okay? P even people who don't have autism, in my opinion, cannot really be good at reading social cues. And I'm saying this because I've met a lot of people. And I think it's very, very rare for someone to be able to be socially intelligent. It is so rare. Like there's just little things. For example, if a new person joins in a conversation, you don't continue your existing conversation. And if you want to, you fill that person in on what happened. How many people do this? Not many. It's little things like that. Or if you can tell that the other person is looking away, they're getting uncomfortable or they don't wanna to listen to you anymore, you are talking too much, you need to stop. These are just little things that you would be surprised how many people don't understand it. If you're annoying someone else in a social situation, obviously, then they're going to like you less. Spend more time alone. Interesting people can spend time alone because when you spend time alone, you're able to reflect, you're able to ponder, and this is when you also build self-awareness. 
I've been around people for the past two months and it made me crazy. Like when I travel, I really don't have alone time. I love, love, love being alone. It's my favorite time ever. People who can't be alone, I really don't fuck with them because they also will attach to you. They can't do anything alone. Like, babe, go fucking take a walk alone. Go sit in a restaurant alone. It's not... You're not gonna die, okay? You may actually like it. I used to have bad social anxiety and honestly, the way you get over it is exposure therapy, like little bit by little bit. Have your own sense of style. I talked about this in my attractiveness video, but people who dress the way they want, they don't copy someone else's style, <laughs> it's attractive because it can't really be replicated. Someone can't replicate your vibe because your vibe is your energy and it's innate. And this comes from my own observation and data collection. Don't be an NPC. NPCs are predictable, like they're pre-programmed, right? Most people are fucking pre-programmed. They're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. Do things other people won't do and cultivate better taste as well. Listen to better music. When people tell me their music taste and it's just like, oh, Drake, The Weeknd, Ariana Grande, like these artists are great, but it's like you're only listening to the top 100 hits when there is so much good music out there, it makes me cringe. I get the ick. Maybe I'm a bit of a music snob, but I can only, I, but I say this because I listen to so many different genres. You name it, I have it. I have 250 playlists on Spotify, go check it out. But when people tell me that they just listen to the top 100 hits, I get the ick. I'm like, you're so boring because how can you know that there's so much good music out there and you're only listening to the top 100 hits? Like. I can't. Say yes more. Do you get the theme? The more experiences you get, the more people you talk to, the more you say yes, you collect more data, you become more interesting. Honestly, I think that's it. But the point I really, really, really want to reiterate to you guys, you cannot try to be somebody you're not. You can't. People will immediately sense that you are not being authentic. People do not like inauthentic people. When people are so confident with themselves, that is what makes them attractive and it makes them interesting because you're like wow what made you this confident i want to be like that i want to learn from you this is why i've never really looked at anyone online and gone hmm i want to be like you i just want to be me oh also i'm launching a patreon not really a patreon it might be a patreon i'm not sure but because you guys wanted me to do private coaching and i was like okay that's really inaccessible for most people so I'm going to launch a Patreon where we have this private coaching, more videos from me, um, access to another platform, and it'll be really cheap starting at like, maybe like 12 euro per month. So I'm really excited for this group and it should be out within the next week or two. And the new Mind Formula School product, which is gonna help you get straight A's. Okay, love you guys. Ich liebe dich. Tschüss. Norman Rockwell. No, I can't do it. It's just me and you. I've got my two on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Venice bitch. I'm the neighborhood kiss. Nothing but fake kiss. You're in the yard, I like a fire. And as the summer fades away, nothing you can say. You write, I tour, we make it work. You're beautiful and I'm insane. We're American made. Give me Hallmark. One dream under one lover. Make me happy and blue. Norman Rockwell. No high under our cover is right. It's just yeah. me and you. Oh, God, you are my list. It's me, you're the little gun speech. I'm stupid in the neighborhood kids. Sounding off, they make it. You're in the yard, I like the fire. That's the summer fades away. Do you think I'm gonna say that? You write, I do, we make it work. American May. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounding off, my bank is kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounding off and bank kiss kiss Oh god, but you on my lips It's me a little kind of spit On the stoop with the neighborhood kids Sounding off and bank kiss kiss Yeah Mmm, yeah Mmm, yeah Sounding off and bank kiss kiss Yes
Me myself, I like diamonds. Then I came to Santa Clover. Over and over, honey. 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 <laughs> you are mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love.